notorious for its rolling hills and creation of some of the greatest wines in the world. Sonoma's breathtaking landscapes can really bring so much richness to any production. From the diversity in architecture and structures throughout the small towns, to the beautiful coastlines, there is a reason why so many entertainment industry elite not only call this place home, but really pull inspiration and ideas off the land and way of life out here. We start our journey at one of my favorite locations in the county, the Jack London State Historic Park. Jack London was an adventurist and a writer, famous for his books including The Call of the Wild and White Fang. There is a ton of natural beauty and original structure still standing from when Jack London lived there. It's hard to focus in on just one aspect of who Jack London was. Clearly, he's known as being an author, but he was a world traveler, he was an adventurer, he was a photographer. Most people identify with Jack London, the writer. He was also, in his time, a socialist. He cared about and noticed the disparity between people who have things and people who don't. The beautiful feature at Jack London Park is the House of Happy Walls. Charmaine London built that house that reflected their life together. I think what people don't expect when they get to Sonoma County is that there is a wide variety of looks and feels in this place. There's everything from award-winning architecture in some of the vineyards that are here and the wineries that are here, but there's also burned out warehouses. There's an urban, suburban, and rural community up here, so you can be in a small town main street or you can be in a circle of food trucks in an urban environment on a Saturday night. We then fly over to a dairy farm. The Olympia Valley Estate is located in southwestern Sonoma and stretches over 2,000 acres. The ranch has been family owned and operated since 1905 and includes a historic barn, a rugged two-story guest house with an open kitchen and two loft bedrooms, an 1865 Victorian homestead, meadows, and a weeping willow pond. We hit the breathtaking Sonoma Coast, which was the backdrop to numerous projects, including Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. It's one of the prettier stretches of the Sonoma Coast. And the lighting here, and the fog, and everything changes all the time. So you can be here for, you know, four or five hours and see, you know, a dozen different scenes. And the sun sets, and that changes everything. It's magic. It's just pure magic. We moved to Duncan's Mill, a small local community in Sonoma County, which was originally a sawmill in 1877, established by Alexander Duncan. It's located on the Russian River, about four miles inland from the Pacific Ocean. Today it resembles the way it originally was built, and you could really feel the history just by walking around and exploring. And next to the town is a forest with stunning redwood trees shooting into the sky in all directions. We move out of the woods to the city of Santa Rosa, specifically to the historic Railroad Square District, to highlight three very unique locations. First, we head over to the Western Hotel building and ended up walking into every coffee lover's paradise, Flying Goat Coffee. The floor is lined with Mexican tiles and the walls are flushed white. It's clean and modern, which is completely fascinating, to be honest, because the building was originally built at the turn of the 20th century. Across the street is Aroma Roasters Coffee and Tea, which has one of the largest organic tea and coffee collections I've ever seen. The vibe is vivid color and eccentric decorations. 
across from there is the historic Hotel La Rose, which has been in the same spot since 1907 and is the only Sonoma County hotel to be listed with the National Trust Historic Hotels of America. A few miles away is Howarth Park, which is this 138-acre community park, and at the center is this beautiful lake for fishing and boating. When the water is still, it just glistens like glass. And now we enter the realm of what Sonoma is famous for, the wineries. We shot three completely different wineries to really show you that broad scope diversity. The first is Christopher Creek Winery. It's intimate and the views are stunning. We do more than 40 different types of wines and blends, all small lot stuff. Some of it is as small as one, two barrels. The most we do is maybe eight to 10 barrels of any given wine. You know, we definitely take pride and passion in making the highest quality craft wines we possibly can. We have some different options here. We've got the beautiful views from the deck and the pool area. Uh, we have the estate house, it's six to ten people. It's got three different bedrooms and suite. Um, all local artists are featured throughout the house. It's got beautiful panoramic views. Next is the Vianza Winery, located just 35 minutes from the Golden Gate Bridge. On the hilltop, you get a 270-degree view of the Sonoma Valley. The property sits on 33 acres of estate vineyards and 97 acres of natural wetlands. And the winery is completely dedicated in preserving that wetland. And lastly, to round out the day, we stopped by the Francis Ford Coppola Winery. The Oscar-winning filmmaker was highly inspired by the wondrous Trevally Gardens in Copenhagen. He wanted to create a wonderland for both children and adults. The dining and tasting rooms are elegant. The architecture is whimsical, and each room is flooded with storybook characteristics and charm. Although rooted in its wineries, Sonoma County also comes with these little nooks and crannies of incredible historical locations, making Sonoma County such an incredible place to work, to live, and to film.